You're listening to Coffee Break Flight Instruction by M0A.com. Flight train tips in 15 minutes or less. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here alongside certified flight instructor extraordinaire, Mr. Larry Diamond. You guys are listening to Coffee Break Flight Instruction, flight training tips in 15 minutes or less. And let's go ahead and start that timer. Episode number one, want to talk about v-speeds today and really the importance of knowing and understanding your v-speeds. This is not a topic I just randomly pulled out of a hat. This is a topic uh, that actually uh, came up from Jeff Fisher who's an online ground school member came up and was really big on his private pilot check ride and I want to take a moment to kind of share some stuff with you guys. First off, what v-speeds do I really need to master? Well you need to fully understand your vx and your VY. How do I remember which one is which? Well, what I remember is VX, X makes an angle. That is going to help me clear my obstacle sooner rather than later. So the other one, VY, is my rate over time. Typically, uh, you know, 95% of the time, I'm climbing out at VY unless there's an obstacle or something I need to get up and out of there early for. VX, VY, commit those speeds and know them to memory. A lot of things you need to realize too, you can kind of cheat and look on your airspeed indicator. You've seen that green arc, that yellow arc, that red line there, but what does all that sort of stuff mean? That red line are VNE speed, all right? That yellow arc are VNO, our, our normal operating range that it kind of shows us. And that white arc on there is showing you your VFE, your flap extension speed. And I mean, really, those are the, the basic ones that are kind of set in stone, given to you, that you need to actually master and have down pat. The other one, and I'm sure uh, Larry can attest this too here in a second, is VA, our maneuvering speed. Maneuvering speed is something that needs to be calculated for each and every flight. And I make my students, and, and maybe Larry, you can attest this too, I don't know if you do it differently, my students calculate it for when we're taking off, and when we're landing, because what changes VA? Well, weight changes VA. When I'm up there flying, I'm burning fuel and I'm changing weight. So we do a starting VA and an ending VA. And Larry, maybe you can attest to why that maneuvering speed is so important and kind of chime in on that. Well, um, especially here during the end of the summertime and into summertime, we're getting a lot of turbulence. And so we're doing maneuvers at a different speed. So before we go out and practice maneuvers, I always have the student first find me VA on the airspeed indicator because <laughs> some uh, DPE is going to ask them where is it found and it's uh, not a little known fact but should be a fact it's one of the airspeeds you cannot find on your airspeed indicator. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to like let's say do slow flight or steep turns I want to make sure that they're not going to be at a speed that's going to cause any damage to mm -hmm. the airplane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And again, go. I love your point of asking where is it on the airspeed indicator because we get spoiled having that airspeed indicator with everything on there. I can name my two stall speeds off my airspeed indicator. You know, I can tell you my normal operating range, my VNE, my never exceed speed, my flap extension speed. I can tell you a lot, um, but I'm not going to know my VX or my VY. That's something I'm going to have to actually open up the POH maybe every now and then to get those speeds to have that sort of stuff done and calculating my VA calculating my actual maneuvering speed and underneath this video guys I'm gonna put the formula down that we use to calculate our VA calculate our maneuvering speed um, so you guys can have that um, as well Larry any little last thoughts on maneuvering speed um, not necessarily in maneuvering speed, but I found out for VX and VY, usually VX is always at your 2 o'clock position on every single airspeed indicator I've ever found, uh -huh. and always, usually VY is somewhere around 4 o'clock. Yeah, there you go. And it makes life a little bit easier, unless we're flying like a glass panel then, then it gets a little... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll work on a good analogy for that too. So, um, guys, we're doing good time wise. Flight training tips in under 15 minutes, talking about V speeds today, something that's certainly going to be on your check ride. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee Break Flight Instruction on behalf of myself and Larry. Most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.